Uh, Brian Ross, uh, as you know, we're following the investigation as best we can uh, into who did this and what the connections are between the people uh, who, the, the terrorists, the hijackers who died in those aircraft, along with the passengers they had taken hostage, and whatever concentric rings there may be outside that that supported them here and overseas. Here's ABC's Brian Ross. The FBI investigation came to this quiet street of expensive homes in Vero Beach, Florida, early this morning. And two homes rented for the last few months by five men now considered possible suspects in the terrorist attacks. Left behind were documents and photos, including one of a man by the name of Adnam Bukhari, who was taken into custody by the FBI today. The landlord said the group had asked for a two-week extension of the lease, which was supposed to expire at the end of August. Four of the men disappeared on Monday, and one of them, Amir Kamfar, who lived in this house, is now being sought by the FBI, which has warned that if he is alive, he may be traveling with an AK-47 automatic weapon. Neighbors say when the FBI carried out its raid at 5 a.m. today, the entire block was evacuated. The guy in the, he's wearing a shirt that says FBI on it, and I just, I was like, whoa, what's going on? And she said we had to evacuate the house. So it was unexpected. Neighbors say the men left in such haste Monday that they left behind one of their vans. The documents inside the house include pilot training manuals and certificates that indicate the men had connections with Saudi Airlines, one of them certified as a 747 flight engineer. Neighbors said they had a hard time believing the men could be terrorists, that some of them liked to go bowling. The parents will take us by the park, and the dad will leave us, leave the mom, and while the dad goes to take us flight classes, and then he'd come up about an hour later and pick us up. Brian Ross is with us this evening, um, and I think probably wants to finish off that report, Brian. Peter? Yes, the, uh, it's a new lead that came out of Vero Beach where a number of the uh, possible suspects seem to have uh, taken up residence in the last year. Uh, they were there uh, undetected for quite a while, uh, and uh, many of them attended a uh, local flight training school to become uh, qualified uh, to fly the big jets, and it has created great interest in the part of the FBI. Uh, one man who was uh, picked up there today is uh, in custody for questioning, not charged, but uh, in custody. Okay, thanks very much, Brian Ross, who continues along with Jonathan Miller to, to be the principal reporters on the investigation, and we do our best to keep up with it.